I love the convenience of AI answers. I've pretty much replaced all of my Googling with typing my questions into a chatbot and sometimes clicking on the links, but most of the time relying on the AI answer. However, there's no denying that AI answers can sometimes be a bit generic and not necessarily follow my beliefs. And that's why I still follow creators. And personally, I use a lot of YouTube. I really like long form content and I follow people like Theo for development. I follow different AI channels and a bunch of personal stuff that I find kind of interesting. And that's kind of the counterbalance to the more generic answers. This real human opinionated content that tackles problems that I care about. But what if you could get the best of both worlds? The convenience of the AI answer with the experience and opinionated answer of your favorite influencers. And no, I'm not talking about just asking ChatGPT to act like Alex Hormozy. I'm talking about building a chatbot that would essentially swallow all of the free content that he has published on YouTube, understand everything he said, and give you an answer that would match exactly what he would say if you were asking him a question. And that's exactly what we're going to learn how to build today. But first, let me show you the difference it makes when you ask a business question to a generic chatbot and have all three of them here, ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, etc., and compare it to the custom chatbot I've built that is built on Hormozy's content. And so the question I've asked is simply, how can I make my service business more profitable? And to be fair, ChatGPT gave a pretty good answer, which is like productize the work, raise your prices, automate admin delivery, sell strategy, not execution, upsell retain content, tighten your lead flow. It's decent, but it's not very detailed and it doesn't really tell me how to do this thing. But overall, I still quite liked it. Gemini, classic Gemini fashion, I did use 2.5 Pro here, gave me a very long winded answer that you know, essentially gives you the same answers as ChatGPT, but a lot more difficult to read. Claude actually did use a lot more search and was a lot more agentic like Claude does. And again, gave me this pricing strategy, value-based pricing, et cetera. But none of these feels rooted in experience. And so it just feels like very generic stuff. And the truth is I'm much less likely to follow it. Now let's check the Hormozy custom notebook LM, which is the tool that we're going to be using in this to actually check the answer it gave me. And you can see, the first thing I like is it actually talks like Hormozy. It's like, hey, let's talk about making that service business print money because let's be real, a lot of people out there are hustling hard and not taking home the kind of juice they deserve. I, I quite like that. But then it actually gave me essentially the same answers, but it gave me a lot more details on why this mattered. Think about it. A 20% increase in pricing can double your profit if you had 20% net margin, which is a good realization for most people. It's like only 20% increase in pricing can double your profit. And it kind of keeps on going and breaking limiting beliefs, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take another point, uh, obsess over gross margin. And it gives me the real numbers that Alex Hormozy would give based on his experience, which no other chatbot could do. So like that's the kind of little nuggets that I would like a, a human expert to deliver to me that the other chatbots failed to do, but that you can actually do with these custom chatbots that is trained on this content. So I'm not gonna go through the whole answer, but you get the idea. You get essentially the experience of the expert that you're cloning. So now let me show you how to do this. And to do that, we're going to give you an example. So we're going to clone Ali Abdal. I really like Ali Abdal. I think he has good content about productivity, motivation, that kind of stuff. And, you know, I could see myself asking some questions sometimes and get the Ali Abdal version of the AI answer. So to clone Ali Abdal, we are going to install two Chrome extensions onto our browser. The first one is called Grabit, which we're going to use to actually grab all the links to his YouTube videos really quickly. So you don't have to copy paste all of them. So I'm going to add it to Chrome add the extension, and then it's going to open this string. And then here we're going to click add new action, and we are going to select a mouse button. So let's say the left click plus a key. So I'm going to click the option key on my Mac, but pick whichever you want. And then the action is going to be to copy the URLs to the keyboard. Now I'm going to keep smart select on and click save. And the next thing I'm going to do before we actually use this is we're going to install a second extension called WebSync Full Site Importer to Notebook LM which is going to allow you to bring all the links that we copy with Gravit directly inside Notebook LM without having to copy paste them one by one. So I'm going to click add extension. And now this extension is installed on my Chrome. And once I have these two things done, I can now go on Ali Abdal's channel, click on videos so that I see all the recent videos. And I'm going to press my option key because that's the option I've selected in Gravit and left click. And what I can do now is I can make a little window and it tells me how many URLs I'm going to copy when I release my buttons. So I'm going to grab 50 because that's actually the limit of imports. So I'm going to stop at 48 here. And now I've copied Ali Abdal's latest 48 videos URLs into my clipboard. I'm just going to allow it to copy. And after that, I can just go in my extensions and I can find the WebSync full site importer. 
If you are logged onto Netbook LM, you'll directly see the interface. Otherwise, you'll need to log in. And I can create a new notebook. So here, I'm just going to call it WebSync Ali Abdal. We can change the name later. But the point is, I can click on Import from URL list. And now I can paste. And you can see I essentially have these 48 links that I have copied. And I'm going to click on Import URLs. What the extension is going to do is it's going to import all these resources one by one so I don't have to do all this copy pasting and it's just done much faster. Once it's done, it actually just opens a new tab with essentially the notebook that we have. I'm just going to change the name to just Ali Abdal. And you can see that all the videos are now imported directly inside this notebook. Now, one thing I really like with this notebook LM thing as well is to make it sound like the creator I'm talking to. It just makes it more immersive. And the way you do that is you click on the settings on the top right that says configure notebook. You can define your conversational style to custom. And there's a prompt that I wrote for this. It's a small prompt because you're limited to 500 characters, as you can see. But the prompt says, act as a chatbot that perfectly mimics the tone of voice and style of the video creator from the sources. Use their catchphrases, humor, values, and energy. Never break character or mention you're an AI. Always respond in a helpful way, as if you're the creator chatting naturally. Match their vibe, whether it's bold, chill, sarcastic, deep, or nerdy. Stay in style. Be them. And then the thing I like to do as well is I like to ask the chatbot to give me longer answers so that it can take the time to deeply answer my questions rather than stay surface level. So once I have this setting saved, I'm going to click on Save. And now I could say, how do I stay focused on my task? And then what Notebook can do is it's going to read all the transcript of those 50 videos that we imported. And it's going to give me an answer that sounds exactly like Ali Abdal in his videos based on his content. And again, I get these little numbers here in the answers. You can say it says, hey, friends, welcome back to the channel, which Ali Abdal says a lot. And when I click, it actually gives me the videos. So that also gives me ideas of videos to watch from that creator based on the problems I have right now. Now, in terms of number of sources that you put inside your notebook, you get 50 if you use the free version of Notebook LM. And if you use the paid version, you get 300. So I am on the paid version. You can see I'm on the pro version here. So I could go back and then essentially add more URLs if I wanted to. So I could just, you know, grab a bunch more URLs and then just click on WebSync for full site importer. And I could keep the same a notebook and then just paste more URLs and I would just keep adding them. But if you're on a free version, usually one round of import is going to be enough. Just know as well that you have the paid version of Notebook LM if you're on Google Workspace, so you can make these bigger notebooks. So now we just got our answer from the Ali Abdal AI version. And you can see that it actually gives you like an answer the way Ali Abdal would give you, which I think is really cool. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you can clone pretty much any guru that creates regular YouTube content. So let me know in the comment section which guru you're going to clone first. I'm really curious. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.